all fuck boys think they are misunderstood <laughs> okay all fuck boys think that life is unfair to them <laughs> and i have just tapped into that that yes i agree with you that you are misunderstood <laughs> We are here with Kanika Dilon in the studio, and we're going to talk about boys because we should. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the boys of uh, Manmarzia are amazing. Uh, now, Vicky, he, he's a fuck boy, and <laughs> he's been presented with so much uh, empathy, and there's a sympathetic light on him. Okay, you're fond of him, and you're writing about him. what about him is lovely, like. What about this Vicky that you you're know, so fond of? I, I'll tell you. You know how you've uh, described him as a fuck boy. <laughs> you know, all fuck boys think they're misunderstood. <laughs> okay, all fuck boys think that life is unfair to them. <laughs> And I have just tapped into that. That yes, I agree with you that you're misunderstood. <laughs> and that's wiki <laughs> i'm telling you i have utmost empathy and uh, affection for fuck boy because in their heads they are not fuck boys at all they are misunderstood romeos who are like dealing with life dealing with <laughs> these questions and and uh, you know the last person to admit that he's a fuck boy is the fuck boy himself <laughs> Yeah. So, so Vicky is uh, written and and portrayed with so much love and empathy because I genuinely uh, do uh, understand the internal struggle that they must be having in in their own head or or the excuses they must be making. जब मैं उस बटाले वाले क्लिंग से अकेले और वॉशिंग करा के निकली थी ना रिक्शे पे तो प्यार नहीं आते मुझे तेरे पे कोई हाँ तो कह रहा हूँ ना यार कि मैं फंस गया था ये बड़ा फंसा हुआ इंसान है यार तू I've always been very fascinated by the storms that we create in our own head and our life. Yes, and and fuck boys are a prime example of that. And you have to believe that you are the hero of that situation. Otherwise, how will you live with yourself? <laughs> a fuck boy is never going to believe that he's the villain. He's he's doing something wrong with someone. Yeah. He is the victim. He's always the victim. <laughs> and Vicky is also a victim of his circumstance and his and his indecisiveness. <laughs> and and yes so the root of it <laughs> comes from a deep empathy of their condition of thinking that they are misunderstood i hmm. want to talk about the the way you've portrayed the patriarchy in manmarzia okay you know very often when there's a girl involved there's a lot of like this kind of territorial hustling uh with the brothers or the cousins and they go and physically threaten something you do you held back from that when he's standing downstairs during the engagement wearing that awful t-shirt i mean he's He's really inciting them to violence. Uh, Vicky is, but they just hold back. Tell me about that. You know, when we create characters that are so loud, so so decisive, we have to give them some sort of a subtle landscape. If the family was so reactive, Rumi is so reactive, uh, Vicky is so reactive, you would not. Neither of them would be able to kind of. Um, stand out or uh, i would have i would have had difficulty kind of balancing them out okay. you know so it is more of uh, and usually what happens as as what i've seen in human nature is when somebody else is being very aggressive the other person kind of takes a step back that is how we kind of deal with each other you in situations some equilibrium yeah we have yeah. to and yeah. and we do in real lives we yeah. do it's very human nature that if if somebody else is shouting so much in a situation the other person who doesn't want to escalate it to a level which kind of completely shatters everything yeah. will take a step back so in this case the family is uh more open yeah. in terms of uh, more sensible aa gaya galti sudharne mere paas hai ek bar soch le rumi मेरी एक गलती वैसे छोड़ देगी मुझे कल की शादी किसी और से निकल यार तू धक्का दे रही है जानो ना एंड कलेक्टिवली इट इज देयर रिस्पांसिबिलिटी टू होल्ड सेम्बलेंस ऑफ नॉर्मलसी टुगेदर एंड नॉट क्रिएट अ सीन इट वाज देयर रिस्पांसिबिलिटी हेंस दे वर नॉट गेटिंग प्रोवोक्ड बिकॉज़ दे वर द होस्ट्स या देयर वाज अ वेडिंग दैट दे हैड टू गिव विकी अ चांस and which in itself it, was quite and they gave quite dramatic that yeah. was out of yeah. love for their daughter, for the daughter. when yeah. and when It's the respect. daughter says that i'm telling you he's going to be there yeah. they know that he's not going to come but they allow the wisdom her. of yeah, but they beautiful. allow her because they want her to see it i have a question to give up to me rumi da dost hai na hm aur rishta leke aa rahe ne 
ਤੇ ਰੂਮੀ ਦੀ ਮਰਜ਼ੀ ਵੀ ਉੱਥੇ ਹੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਘੰਟੇ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਫੋਨ ਬੰਦਾ ਆ ਰਿਹਾ ਉਸਕਾ ਬੰਦਾ ਫੋਨ ਕਰਕੇ ਦੱਸ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਕਿ ਨਹੀਂ ਆ ਰਹਾ ਜਿਸ ਸੇ ਬੋਲੋ ਉਸ ਸੇ ਸ਼ਾਦੀ ਕਰਨ ਕੋ ਤਿਆਰ ਹੋ ਬੁਲਾ ਲੋ ਲੜਕੇ and they know that if she sees it she's going to decide so that all comes from a family that is very aware of the daughter that they have they are not uh, imposing themselves entirely and um, it's it's a more understanding family rather than from yeah. what you know we've seen being portrayed before a friend of mine once said this she said you know when you see examples of when the patriarchy works as a protector as a you know as a as a solid thing that is also something that we can talk about at some point of time but it's just that right now not right now not for the next 20 years <laughs> <laughs> like, okay you know the thing uh, with robby you know what makes him not judgmental like so i have two questions about robby one is you get the feeling that he has his own life and he's has he's his own person why has he come back to get married and actually to have an arranged marriage that's the first question and the second thing is you know he's willing to give her space and everything and he's not very judgmental rumi vicky ko taakat tumse milti hai you empower him main to usse ignore kar lunga tum kar paoge jab tak tum usse ignore nahi kar sakti main usse ignore nahi kar sakta और ना ही मैं उसे रोक सकता हूं क्योंकि ऑनेस्टली वो मेरी जगह नहीं है रूमी सो दैट काइंड ऑफ यू नो दैट टू फैसेट्स ऑफ दैट कैरेक्टर ही इज एक्सेप्टिंग बट ही इज आल्सो गोइंग टू फॉल इनटू अ ट्रेडिशनल रोल वेयर डज दैट कम फ्रॉम यू एग्री टू अ अरेंज मैरिज फॉर कंपेनियनशिप वी we we don't see a lot of it because it's not romantic it doesn't make for great drama or romance but the reality is that a lot of my friends uh, who who've had relationships etc but who reached a certain point in life they want to settle yeah and the only thing is they can't find the right partners because mm-hmm. a they don't have time they're constantly working okay. they are not finding pl- areas and places to meet common people so i had an entire uh, outline of robbie's life Okay. and i had um, fashioned him uh, as this guy who went abroad got into a great job yeah. uh, and now wants to get settled he needs companionship he's lonely there because i had seen so many of these uh, men who like uh, achieved what they wanted to uh, uh, you know they're well settled abroad but they're lonely tell us about writing good men because it is so important and we know that men struggle to write women we have more than enough evidence of this as writing. women we are struggling to find good men and we are struggling to write good men <laughs> that's a joke <laughs> it is very important to write um wholesome men for cinema yeah. because uh, i genuinely feel that when the general public sees women through the lens of these men a lot of their mindsets uh a lot of their impressions a lot of their judgments gets re- realigned case in point as you mentioned earlier that n- not many people judged rumi because of the way vicky and robby saw them yeah so i cannot underline the importance and need of writing wholesome men because ultimately if you want to kind of change mindsets and perspectives you need to start with the gender who's making them 